Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest Eight. In the last episode, I wandered around the Fairberry region, leveling up and finding treasure. Level up Yangus here. I got to level five. We're gonna be going to the Waterfall Cave, and I got some points and fisty cuffs. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put four points into this, and we get agility plus ten while empty-handed. Yeah, why the hell not, right? It'll make Yangus a little bit faster. So he's a street fighter now, huh? Anyway, let's go ahead and unequip that freaking Oaken Club so you can get that nice agility bonus. Yeah, there's a little bit of slowdown in the overworld, but I've been doing extensive testing and it's not that bad. It's it's tolerable. I mean, you might have definitely noticed it in the last video for sure. There's a little bit of frame slowdown, but you know what, man? I can't wait anymore, man. I gotta play this game. One of my favorite games of all time. And yeah, two skill points, huh? Wow. Real generous there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold on to my skill points for now. Yeah, 12 skill points, we get Thunder Thrust. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'll just hold on to them. <laughs> no point in using them right now. I'll save them. Put Medea in danger. I'm sure you'll do a fine job of finding the crystal ball without us. We'll be waiting here. You be careful in there. It's almost like Trode is uh, speaking into a fan. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, welcome to the Waterfall Cave. There are more dangerous monsters in here. Oh yeah, and as far as, maybe I should do this before I get farther along in this cave. But the, um, I'll go over the club skills here. So, for the first one, at 9 points you get plus 5 with clubs. Heartbreaker. Single strike that deals normal damage and has a 1 8th chance of stunning an enemy for one turn. Basically that's 12.5%. Uh, works with oomph. Obviously works with tension. Uh, not very good. I don't really care about that, to be honest. It's okay, I guess, but not worth putting points in the clubs. Clubs are pretty crap with Yangus. Penny Pincher. Does, uh, yeah, there's a chance you could steal gold from the enemy. You don't need it. Uh, one of the extra characters you get later on in the game 
kind of has a similar skill, except it's it's a passive skill that um, works at the end of battles to get more gold. So you don't need Penny Pincher. It's crap. Monster Master deals 10% more damage than a normal attack and deals 50% more damage to enemies of the Material Family, like the uh, Mimics and um, and enemies like that. Pretty situational, only good for those type of enemies. So, to be honest with you, it's kind of forgettable. And those enemies really aren't that strong anyways, for the most part. So I wouldn't even bother with this one. Free Angus. Oh, and these attack pluses, they're not additive. For instance, you don't start out with plus 5 and then get plus 10, and then all of a sudden that equates to plus 15. It's all, It only starts out as plus 5, and then when you get to this skill here... It, it transfer. It basically just the plus ten replaces the plus five. Is basically what I'm saying. So these are not additive. They're just you know this one replaces this. And critical hit up. It just makes it so your chances of scoring a regular critical hit with a regular physical attack. It, it just improves the chances. That's all it does. Mind breaker. Twenty five percent more damage than normal attack, and it has a twenty five percent chance of causing an enemy to lose a turn. Again, who cares? Uh, yeah, plus 25 replaces the plus 10. Gold Rush. Basically, this will replace the Penny Pincher ability. It just raises the percentage that you can steal gold from the enemy. Again, not very worth it. The best skill in this skill tree is Double Crusher. Um, yeah, it deals double damage to enemies of the Demon or Material family. And 10% more damage to all other types. So it's not bad. It's a pretty good skill. But is it worth spending 100 points in the clubs for Yangus? Probably not. Probably not. You're better off putting your points in other skill trees. To be perfectly honest with you. I mean, axes are better. Fisty cuffs are better. You're going to want to put points in the humanity. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go over size in the next video. Alright, so for the hero, Spears, one of my favorites. Plus 5 to attack, Mercurial Thrust, I mentioned this in the last video. Uh, strike first at 80% power. It's not as strong as a regular physical attack, but it, it ignores agility. You, all, you will always act first with this skill. So it does have its uses. It's a very good finishing move. Like if you weaken the enemy and you know it's about to die in the next turn, you can use this skill to get the first attack off, guaranteed. It works with oomph. And it does work with tension, so it's a very good skill. Thunder Thrust, similar to Hatchet Man, in fact it's practically the same. 25% uh, chance of critical hit, 25% for a normal stab, and then of course there's the 50-50 chance that it'll miss. But it is good once you upgrade it to Lightning Thrust. And then you have the Attack Plus 10. Multi Thrust, one of my favorite skills in the game. Uh, the target is random. Uh, very good against a single target, however. You can attack three or four times at half st strength per jab. Uh, the first hit uh, can be oomphed for double damage. And it does work with tension. Very, very powerful. Um, I recommend this over Falcon Slash in most situations. There are some situations where you're going to want to use Falcon Slash over Multi Thrust. If you're exploiting an enemy type, let's say you have... A zombie slayer equipped and you're fighting undead you're probably going to want to use falcon slash with the oomph spell over multi thrust you're probably going to deal more damage that way especially if you're using tension as well but for the most part on most enemies in the game you're going to want to use multi thrust so i recommend putting points in the spears before swords for that reason yeah, you got critical hit up. Clean sweep. This was actually zero MP cost in the PlayStation 2 version, but as this notes right here, it's now two MP in the 3DS version. I guess they thought it was too overpowered for zero MP cost. So they did change that ability. They did change some skills in this version of the game. Um, lightning thrust, 59 points. To start out, I would just put 59 points into this. Uh, to land a critical hit. So, there you go. And then plus 25, and then Lightning Storm. What I like about Lightning Storm over Giga Slash and Giga Gash and the Sword and Courage tree 
is the fact that even though it doesn't do as much base damage, it hits all enemies on the screen. These right here only affect a group. So that is the uh, that is the advantage of Lightning Storm over Giga Slash and Giga Gash. All right, so that there you go. All right, let's continue on here. Yeah, that chest up there would be in the PlayStation 2 version, the dungeon map. But why is this guy running from us? We're not that powerful yet, are we? We gotta take on some Mecha Manaz. Those guys are pretty easy. Yeah, so instead of a treasure map or a dungeon map, we get 100 gold. Which is very good. And here's another new enemy. Some mischievous moles. Now these guys, they what they like to do is they like to... Oh, they got the first strike. Yeah, they like to uh, psych up. So that can make them a little bit dangerous. Gotta take him out. No, don't do that. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. Critical. Good job, man. are nice so you get the zoom spell then they're pretty much worthless all right leather hat who am I giving it to here Yangus has already got one so put on the hero yeah, um, one thing I need to mention, never sell your gear in this game unless you know for certain that you're not going to need it for alchemy. Because a lot of stuff you can reuse for alchemy to make more powerful stuff. I definitely know that a bandana you don't want to sell. You can make some, uh, you can make a really good um, helmet or headgear for uh, the hero later on. Actually, you can make a couple. You can make a lot of good stuff with a bandana, including some new stuff that uh, was in the PlayStation 2 version.
a guy in here. Hey, guy in here, what are you doing in here? Uh oh, there's a brute of a monster block in the path up ahead, huh? Yeah, we'll be careful, man, but we'll be alright. I think we're high enough level that we'll be able to handle whatever's in here. As long as we stop the fight every now and then. Yeah, we might as well go fight this devil guy now, huh? I think we're ready. Yep, dancing I guess they are called dancing. Oh, yeah. Not tap doubles. These guys are dancing doubles. I believe these guys can drop devil tails. I'm not sure if it's their common or rare drop, but Devil Tails are useful for uh, for alchemy recipes. Yeah, these guys like to dance and make you dance so you lose your turn. Yeah, I love Yangus' butt flops. Those are fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's okay to be a little bit more liberal with your magic in this version of the game because, again, when you level up, you get your MP back. Which, again, is like one of the best fucking features they added to this version of the game. Yeah, let's take care of this fire spirit first, huh? better skills. I'd be mopping the floor with these guys. This monster in the PlayStation 2 version did not have a voice actor. A bat that looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Anyway, as you've probably realized, you'll have to fight me if you want to go any further. What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? Uh, no. I thought as much. 
Then you better be on your way. Yeah, I figured Yanga should comment on this guy, but he doesn't. Mm. What do you want now? Have you changed your mind about fighting me? Uh, no. I thought as much. Then you better be. Okay, maybe you're supposed to say yes first. I forgot how this went again. What do you want now? Yes. Really? You are brave. That means you must be a good fighter. Hmm. Hmm. I know. In recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. Oh, aren't you nice? Off you go. Be careful now. What? Do you, by any chance, think I'm a bit of a whip? Well, I'm not. I tell you. I'm gonna fight him anyways. If you don't believe me, why don't you try your luck and fight me? Oh, really? <laughs> then I suppose that's decided. Let's fight. All right, this is the hammer hood. Let's psych up the first round. Yeah, a lot of times these guys will miss or screw up their attacks. So it's good to try to psych up the first couple rounds. That way you can bring the pain. Go ahead and psych up, man. Do it. I dare you to do it. There you go. Alright, man. Let's do it, man. Yeah, no abilities yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Bye, Hammer Hood. Okay, I only got three skill points that time. I'm just going to save them. Ha ha. You caught me off guard. Ugh. But I suppose you want fair and square. Go on, you can pass. Uh, yes, I believe you. Because you're right. But yeah, there is a treasure chest up there. So let's go grab it. Alright, so we get a copper sword. Which is a nice little upgrade. Yeah, a little bit better attack power than that soldier sword. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna... I should probably do this before I forget, but... I want to put some additional herbs in... Yangus's inventory. That way he's got them when we need it for the boss. Because we're going to need them for the boss.
There we go. Now Yangus can heal, and the hero can heal. Because Yangus, unless you put points into the humanity tree, he's not going to have the heal spell. And I'm not going to be putting points into humanity uh, at first. I got to prioritize fisticuffs. I got the evac spell perfect all right i got six points now uh yeah might as well get thunder thrust that'll be nice once i get my hands on a spear it's just too bad that the game doesn't actually sell you spears in the first couple towns i'm gonna be doing a little bit of a sequence break later on and going to a town uh sooner than i probably should so i can get a spear yeah, it's unfortunate that you gotta do that if you're a spear guy, but... Oh well, it's just the way it is, man. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the floor where you gotta fight the boss. I'm gonna skip all the bad guys, because I think we're strong enough to take on the boss now, and I don't want to waste any MP on random battles. Speaking of a crystal ball, that kind of looks like one, huh? Alright, I think we're all set and ready to go, so let's do it. Crystal ball suspended in the air. Reach out and take it. Uh oh. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. Oh, how long has she been? How many people have gone and come? Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of news. Does this crystal call, crystal ball, belong to you? Uh, no, but it will. Lost. At last we fit mace to mace. You half whip human. Now I'll teach you a moron. I mean a lesson. You won't forget. Yeah, this guy has some brain damage. Let's uh <laughs> let's beat him up a little bit. Yeah, this is Geezer. This guy likes to uh, put curses on your party members. However, the good thing about this fight is uh, the hero is immune to curses, so you don't have to worry about that. 
with him. So let's go ahead and psych up uh, with Yangus. I guess I'll just defend. Yeah, Yangus is going to get cursed a lot. So with Yangus, I would actually heal with him and just psych up with the hero and attack with him. This guy has about 150 HP. And if you have the Fisty Cuffs uh, trait that boosts agility, you have a better chance of getting a turn off before the geezer can attack. Yeah, he can use a Civ spell on you, which does moderate damage to both characters. Gotta watch out for that. Heal accordingly. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna heal on this turn. I guess I'll just defend. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother attacking with Yangus. One more attack should get him. Now when you psych up one more time when you're at 50 tension, there's a chance you can get to 100, which is max tension. However, it's not guaranteed that that'll happen, especially at lower levels. So I would, I would psych up till you get to 50 tension and then attack. Don't bother trying to get higher than that, because it's just, you know, it's not worth it. You're just, you might waste your turn. I mean, it's probably you're going to waste your turns. So that that's probably the easiest way to beat Geezer. Just, uh, just attack with the hero once you get the 50 tension. Heal with Yangus, and that's it. And we get a seat of strength. Since I got this, I've not been right quite. And it's all because of you. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. No, the shame, the shame. So strong. Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might. You are no Tortune Fella. <laughs> Wait, could you be the waterfall rears many humors, you know? I hear that a castle called Trodane has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by thorns. And that only one person inside survived. He set off on a journey, leading a course and heart with a lone driver. Uh, here's our first glimpse into the hero's past.
Why is the hero immune to curses? Well, it'll get explained much later on in the game. Like, that's post-game stuff. But right now, it's a mystery. As I thought, that was you! I don't know what you want with this crystal ball. But it's yours now. I accept the hands. Or is it defeat? Very nice. One last thing. Should you meet the true owner of this crystal ball, tell him this from me. Don't throw things in the four water. <laughs> so where we fell. Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain of my own. Poor guy. <laughs> he said a lot of odd things, man, but don't hold it against him, man. He's got brain damage. Alright, so at this point, if you're a high enough level, you should have the evac spell. Yeah, uh, there are certain spells and abilities that the characters learn automatically. Evac is one of those spells, like Heal and Squelch. <laughs> I don't know. I think we. I think Trode and the hero kind of rescued each other, man. I don't think it's. I don't think anyone should take credit there. Anyway, let's head back to Fairberry. I would say use a Chimera Wing and the PlayStation 2 version, but we're playing the 3DS version, so we don't have to worry about random enemy encounters. We can just try to avoid them. man so let's go hand that crystal ball over and see what we can find out For long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Enough. 
Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! Stop! Please stop, Father! I know. I've known for ages. I know where you threw away your crystal ball. You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune-telling. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but... You were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Oh. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Kaldarasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune-telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, Father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Kaldarasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. Oh, my sweet Valentina. So, you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You must have been exhausted. I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. Many years have passed since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. What? What is this? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. Yes, the mists are clearing. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes, yes, the mists are clearing. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed, but there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos's former pupil, Dulmagos. Uh, what? <laughs> Gav, he said Dulmagos, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician you and the old granddad are after, isn't it? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else? Let me look deeper. Huh? What's this? Yes, no question. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Huh. It must have hit something very hard to do this damage. And look, someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. 
What? Half wit? Who's the half wit? What ignorant low life would do this to my crystal ball? <laughs> you what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever, I'll oh, come and gov. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, ultimately Alexandria is our next destination. However, I think I'm going to be heading to Port Prospect first. Which is the town after. So, King Trode, what's going on? Now we can actually access the southern checkpoint. same crap oh yeah this fellow over here I think says something different doesn't he oh hey but oh I guess maybe not yet but this guy later on in the game uh, will be important for a certain little side quest uh, it's not really that important but Oh, you get a seat of wisdom for very little effort. Sorry about the lag. So, what happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? Well? What? <laughs> Doomagus killed Master Rylus? The same Doomagus we're looking for? That fiend killed his own? And you say he headed south. Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him at once. Let's be on our way. All right, you're the boss, boss. Oh, 
Alright, so we'll be heading south of the checkpoint in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.